Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Welcome back. If you're new here, I'm a homeschooling mom of three kiddos. I have an eight-year-old, a four-year-old, and a two-year-old. And today's video is in a collaboration with other homeschooling moms. Our host today is Yuri, and her channel is The Chan Seven. Today we are talking about our read alouds, hits and misses for this last school year. So it would have been my daughter's second grade. We read a lot this last school year. Um, if you caught my, one of my other videos, I don't even know which one. We went over them here and here, and I will just kind of chat about them. We tend to read mostly picture books. It's what my kids like and enjoy. I've been trying to add in a lot of audiobooks. We really like to listen to books on YouTube because then you, my kids can still see the pages as they're being read to on YouTube and I don't necessarily have to do the reading sometimes. We read um, September 11th, Everything We Know That Would Be All Right. That was a good, sweet book. Um, we actually, I personally really struggle with 9-11. I, it's not funny. It's just the way I handle stress. <laughs> um, September 11th is hard. My husband is a firefighter and he wasn't part of that, but it's the constant reminder while I'm teaching 9-11 to my kids that what he does is dangerous and there's no guarantee that he would make it back out. So when we go through those books, for the most part, my kids have not yet really connected the two. We were reading, I survived, the September 11th attacks books and we actually stopped halfway through this year. My daughter started asking a lot of questions about how that related to her dad because the story is from the point of a little boy whose dad and his like godfather figure is a firefighter and how it became really hard for them and that he lost, I think he lost his dad or his father figure, I can't remember which at the moment for some reason. And it's just, it started making a lot of questions for her. So I'm not really sure how we're gonna handle that this coming school year. I don't wanna scare the kids, but I think it's important that they know about 9-11. I, but I also don't want them to be constantly worried every time the tones go off and dad takes off. So it's, it's just a really fine line that I don't want to, I don't want them to be scared because that would be really hard on them and for me. So I don't know, that's a that's something I have to figure out how to handle and move forward on this going this entire school year, this upcoming school year, because she is old enough now that she's starting to ask a lot of questions. We, we read Fireboat again this year. I love that book, that is such a sweet book. But then we also did some Halloween books. We did Say Boo, it was a cute little book. Um, Thanksgiving in the Woods, Squanto's Journey, Cranberry Thanksgiving. That one has a recipe at the back of the book, which is really nice. And then we did a bunch of Christmas books that went along with our Christmas around the world from Barefoot Within the Trees, Cupweb Christmas, Oscar and the Eight Blessings, um, Christmas Porridge, The Nutcracker Comes to America, which my daughter absolutely adored because she was in the Nutcracker Ballet for our local area and she was really stuck on Nutcrackers the whole Christmas season because of that. We did Painted Skies, The Shortest Day, The Sol Solstice Bridge, Badger? Nope, Solstice Badger. I can read. Um, the nice thing about Christmas Around the World is it is a secular curriculum, so it does cover all holidays, all, what well, most. I shouldn't say all. It covers a good chunk of Christmas-like holidays and Christmases around the entire world, including other things that kind of land in and around our Christmas time, which would be like the solstice, the winter solstice and the Chinese New Year. And then there was Tree of Cranes, Christmas Trolls, Grendel and Beowulf, uh, Little People, Big Dreams, Muhammad Ali, I am Martin Luther King Jr., The Wild Robots. We got about halfway through that book. Um, it's a really good book, but I think the problem is, is my children do not handle read alouds very well unless they also have a book to look at. And I was trying to do that one as just a read aloud. So I think we're gonna have to try that one with an actual book. I also found that if I'm reading aloud and they're just laying around, they tend to focus too. But if I just have my iPad doing the audiobook, they tend to get distracted and kind of wander away doing stuff and forget they're listening. And we read the Lorax, Green Eggs and Ham, Stay Wild My Child, and I Am the Solar System. 
We read most of The Lost Trail. I did not read all of it. We read Word Fun. So all these ones came in a curriculum of some sort. Um, these came in our Timber Doodle kits. The Lost Trail, Word Fun, Wiley Coyotes, Forces and Motions, Flight and Gravity, Speed and Velocity, and Simple Motions. And then we had a bunch from our Bookshark curriculum as well. We had Ants, Reptiles, DK, Find Out Sciences, Rainforest, Bees and Wasps, From Seed to Plant, Weather, Magic School Bus, Why Do Elephants Need the Sun, uh, Wangaria's Tree of Peas, A True Story from Africa. I might be saying her name wrong if I am, I'm so sorry. And Forces Make Things Move, we had all those as well. And then we read The Jade Dragon earlier, uh, August, I think we read that one. That was a really, really good book. That came in, I had ordered the summer reading things from Good and the Beautiful, and Jade Dragon was one of those books that had come there as like one of the prizes for finishing the summer reading program for them. And we read that book, it was a really good book, I liked it. And then there was no mention of God or religion in that book that I can remember, so it did bother me at all. We didn't finish the Halloween tree, but I actually did really like it, but it was a little spooky for my kids, so we, so we stopped reading that. The Ichabog was the same way. I actually just re-rented it. It's over there on my TV stand at the moment. The Ichabog, it was a JK Rowling book. That was a really good book too, but it was a little bit scary, so I just put it away for the year, and we're gonna start it up again this year. On Halloween, this is a dog, 14 Cows for America, The Arabian Nights, like I said, Fireboat, and Charlotte, and The Nutcracker. So we read two different Nutcracker books. We could read The Nutcracker Comes to America and Charlotte and The Nutcracker this year because my daughter really liked The Nutcracker books. But And then we also started Echo Mountain. We started Train Your Dog, which is not really a fiction or anything like that, but it's just a book to teach you how to train your dog. My daughter picked it up as a free book from the library and she really wanted it. Sorry, I picked up my water. My daughter just really wanted it from that, so we've been reading that. We also have been reading, obviously, the little stories in our All About Reading books. We finished up All About Reading 1. We are most of the way through All About Reading 2. It does say some books that we hated. Um, honestly, any book that we started that I didn't like, I stopped right away and I do not remember them because I didn't write them down. So I am not one to just read a book even though I don't like it. So if there was something I didn't agree with reading to my kids, I just shut it and stopped reading it. Um, I know there was a couple books I came across that we had started as read alouds on my iPad through Libby that it got like, I don't know, three or four paragraphs in basically and I was like yep yeah, not for us and I just shut it off and moved on but I don't remember what the books were so I can't really help you by telling you what they were so I apologize for that. That is all the books like I said this is in collaboration with Yuri from The Chan 7. I will post her, I will link her channel below, I will also link the playlist below and if you have any questions for me please leave them in the comment section below and I will get back. I'm, I'm here all the time. I I message back often. I try to answer everybody as I often as I can. So if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe and like, and I will talk to you next time.